Welcome back. So we have a teacher bought two erasers, one folder for $8. That'll be our first equation we set up. And she bought five erasers and two folders for $17. What is the cost of each eraser and each folder? Perfect. So let's set up our E is for eraser, F is for folder, this pen is not so awesome. Maybe this one's better. So two erasers, that would be two E, and we know that means addition or a sum. One folder, I'm gonna say put the one in there. I know some of you aren't as visual as myself because I'm definitely a visual learner. I would definitely put the one in, I think it's valuable. Equals eight. She bought five erasers and two folders. For 17, beautiful. Now we're gonna do the next two. So I'm gonna go with C for chair and T for table. I would recommend that when you're using T as a variable, you put that little tail on there because after a while, the T just looks like a plus sign. Warning, warning, we don't wanna do that. So two chairs and five tables, little tail there, equals 60. And we have six chairs plus four tables is 70. I hope you guys got that one too. And last but not least, we have C for cabinet, and we have pencil sharpener. Now you could go with P for pencil sharpener or S. Personally, I avoid S's because they look like fives after a while when you're doing math, and we want to avoid that confusion. So I'm gonna go with P for pencil. Sharpener. Perfect. So two cabinets, mm -hmm. six pencil sharpeners, $100 three cabinets, and two sharpeners for $80. Cool. We're gonna move on to the next style. Congratulations, you just learned the first style that'll be on the test next week.